Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing tool that would help us designers organize our user research in a more visual manner. As designers, you know how important it is to conduct user research before designing a solution for our users, basically because it helps us understand the problem that you're solving from a user's perspective. And as you all know, user research involves a lot of data and feedback that are gathered as we observe and get to know our users' behavior and pain points. So storing and organizing all this data in one place is always challenging and the various tools that we work with are not actually designed for this purpose. However, I'm going to introduce you to Xtiles, who is the official sponsor for today's video. Xtiles is a workspace that allows you to organize your ideas and projects visually. So you can now organize your notes and data as you keep doing your research and also collaborating with other designers on the same workspace. So this makes it really collaborative and efficient. To help you understand its features better, first I'll take you through a blank project and show you all the features and then we'll jump on to a project that I worked on so that you get an idea how you can work with a real project. So what are we waiting for? Without any further ado, let's jump right onto my screen and get started. So first things first guys, you just got to go to xtiles.app which is the official website where you can get started for free. So just sign up using your Google or any email that you have. I've already signed up using my Google so I'll just click on sign in and that directly takes me onto the dashboard. So as you can see the first page you see is your personal pages where you see all the projects that you have created and you're working on. And then you have on the left shared pages which is nothing but the projects that you're collaborating with other people. And then you have recent pages which obviously means the recent ones you're working on and then you have workspaces. So if you want to categorize your projects based on your clients or something like that, you can use workspaces and then create projects under it. You also have examples and then on the right you have a grid view, you have a list view, you can switch between both. Then you have an option to start creating a new page, then you have search, then some notifications, help and bookmarks. So once you bookmark or favorite a project, you can see it on this list here. Then you have these options to upgrade plans, dark mode and things like that. So let's go back to personal pages and create a new page so I'll click on new page and that brings us to this screen where you can select different layouts so these are predefined layouts uh, with columns and grids or you can go with a blank one and create one yourself so I'll go for the blank layout right now and as you can see this is your page it has an infinite scroll and on the top you can see where your project is so you can just rename this for now so I'll call this project x and here you can see the breadcrumb on which workspace your project is on then you have an option to comment this is for bookmark or favorites so if I click on this here you can see that it gets added to the list and then you have an option to create tabs I'll show you this later then you have option to create a link duplicate a page export it as PDF and so on so if you want to add something the first thing is you have to create a grid for it so you just need to click and drag and you can create it of any size that you want since this is a blank layout let's try some example maybe create a persona so I'll create something long like this and then you have some templates so you can click on this and it gets converted to that but right now I'll just leave it at normal so the the first thing is uh, maybe I'll call this as persona number one and then the next thing I want is maybe an image right so you can see here I have options different options here I click on the image icon here and then I can add my own image or I can go for unsplash as well so I'll just search for person and you have a lot of images right here so I'll just select this one right here there you go I have a person's image and now I can start typing the name maybe right so I can keep different uh, layouts of text styles as well. So maybe if I want to make this highlighted, I can, you know, come here and turn this into a different banner. So I can make this a red banner. So that is how you can highlight things and make it more visual, right? Let's say I want to add a table. So I can just draw this here and click on table. And that's how I can add a different table with different data into it. Now, let's say I want to add another thing like user interviews or user survey. So I can just go here, click on this new tab option here and maybe call this as user interviews. So that's how a new tab gets added. So as you can see, this is for user interviews and let's call this as personas. So as you can see here, I have personas, here I have user interviews and that's how I can organize my complete user research into one view here. And there is one more cool feature I love about Xtiles, which is a web clipper that is available on Chrome store as a Chrome extension. So once you install it, uh, let's say you're doing your user research and you found some website that have some really good data and maybe I want to save this for reading it later. All I got to do is just come here, click on the extension, basically takes out the image and the title and everything. I just need to click on save. It gets saved 
onto the quick notes. Let me come back to the project. So I'll just create one more grid here. Now I just need to come to the option here which says quick notes and here you can see whatever you saved is right here. So I just need to click it, drag it and bring it here and there you go that gets saved. So that is how easily you can keep a track of all the things that you want to read later or even keep a track of all the sources of the user research that you're connecting. And one more uh, cool thing is you can transfer data between each of these tabs. So let's say this is an article that I want to move it to the user interviews. I just need to click it here, go on to which tab that you want and drop it. So it is so easy to move things between each of these tabs as you keep doing your research. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, let me just take you through a real project so that you get a better idea of how we can use it on a real project. And as you can see uh, on the first, I like to have a progress uh, tab, which shows me all the progress of the project. So on the first, I have a design process. I list down all the design process uh, steps that I want to follow. And as I keep completing things, I just check it off and each of these are on a different tab. So that's really good. And then I have a what's next column, which shows me what I want to do next. Then I have notes and then things that I want to read later. So I can expand and collapse column as well. So if you want to keep it in a smaller size and then I have a tab, which basically gives me a quick overview of the project. It's like a mind map that I created at the very first. And then I have a brainstorming board, which basically uh, is all about the brainstorming that I did. So this was done on a real wall using a uh, pen and paper. Then I took a photo of it and put it here. And then based on these, I created grids here with some key insights that I pulled out of it. And then I have my personas. So these are the personas I'm working with. I have the likes, the dislikes, the pain points and things like that. Then I have the ideation board. So these are some wireframes which I sketched out. I put it here, then some high level wireframes. Then you have some key insights that I pulled out of it. Then I have the mood board. So you can see the typography and the mood I want to set for the application. So that is the progress. And next probably I'll be going to check this off and I can go to the solution tab here. So overall, that is how you can make your user research more visual and more exciting. Do check out the tool and explore it more and see how you can use it better to improve your project's user research. As always, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.